What's going on, y'all? Jimmy McElroy. What the season one, episode 11 of Bro. Now, since we last saw each other, since I last saw you or since you last saw me, um, I told you guys that I was putting Rome on the shelf after the season, and quite a number of you flipped the fuck out. That's how you did it, too. Um, I will watch season two at some point. That's how these things work. Now, last we saw on the show, Pulo snapped and killed his... How would you describe her? What was her name Irelli? I would say her name. Killed Irelli's future husband in a fit of rage. Verena's kicked him out. Um, first two had a major falling out, and then Verena's kicked him out. And then it looked like Pulo was going to take a job with... Uh, Intimidation, muscle, kill guy. Facts. Let's get to it. Oh shit, is that Pulo? It came a personal offer then. To what limit? You be judge of that. Oh, Magistrate Varinus, my niece is... Oh. Varinus is so out of depth, but he wants to do the right thing. God, I love that guy. A tyrant's death unless a Brutus holds the knife. But you're not going too far. He has to die. You know him, you know he never accepted exile. He has to die. <laughs> Wait, friend. Wait! Hang! Hang! Ah! Ah! Murderer! Murderer! Oh Murderer! 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 He killed our video! So lady wants to die. Men with swords never stop. But they still die. Captains first. Fifteen. Ten. Twelve. This is one of them now. Is that my girl? Yes. Is this in the game? I don't know how pitiful I have become. There's no need. Her disdain for you is an act. She is entirely infatuated with you. That is a wicked, foolish lie. Pulo's not alone. We'll not let any brother be damned by this dirty mob. Well, these dogs will be yelping louder soon. When they bring him down off there, we'll go in swinging. Have him away. Come. It's for the good of the Republic. It's a worthy cause, then. Just call them off. Wow. Insult to injury, this soldier, this brute. A tool! A puppet! We should feel pity. Do you deny his guilt? No, no, I, I do not, sir. Very well. Titus Pulo condemned to death in the arena. I govern Macedonia. If you will accept. Why, well, by three furies, would you want me to govern Macedonia? You are the right man for the job. 
I can think of a few men less right. Brutus, you've always underestimated yourself. You might achieve great things if you would but try. In Macedonia? I think not. A nice try. You need me out of Rome? Not at all. I need your help. Someone you can trust. Am I wrong to do so? You have doubts, Steve. I did not say that. Oh, speak plain, I beg you. Have I given you reason for doubt? Since you ask, you have, as you will know. Well, thank you. I am honored. But I will not go. It is in my legal power to insist that you do go. As my father, as my father, I looked on For you. For a year or so, no more, until the city stayed. Forgive me. You're in every war with a knife at my throat. It would be foolish to ignore it. Only tyrants need worry about tyrant killers. And you are no tyrant. Haven't you told me so many times? You may go. I feel like that was his most obvious uh, move since the show started. Where you just immediately see right through what he's thinking, Jax. right through the plans. And same for my friend Lucius Verinus and his family. If it's not too much. You're not but a bloody molly. You and the whole 13th, not but bloody mollies. Don't talk to the 13th. <laughs> All right. I piss on the 13th. <laughs> Pigs spawn all of them.
must do my duty. See what can be done. was a solid episode um really good the last 15 or so minutes and we are really starting to um understand or it's being uh, thrust upon us exactly where caesar is going number one and he's kind of gone from I'll say a side character to definitely a more antagonistic role the last couple of episodes. First of all, last episode, they had the announcement that he would be dictator for 10 years. And then in this episode, we heard uh, for life. We know he had that dude killed in the street. Uh, Jesus. He tried very unsmoothly, it's the best way I can put it, to move Brutus out of Rome. I know he has good reason to be nervous, but he should have took a, another day or so and tried to come up with a better plan because you could see through it immediately and he didn't have much faith in it and Brutus smelled it on him as he should. We don't know where this is going. I really don't want to see it, though they are making it a little more tolerable since we're really going to paint, I think, start next season. We're really going to start painting Caesar as a Tyrant. That's a bad guy. By the way, I'm not sure I'm anti-dictator, by the way. Just in general. As a concept. Not talking about I'm living there. I'm talking about it's in a faraway place. I have a problem with authority in general, so that wouldn't work for me. But, um, faraway place, there's a dictator. Dictator, to me, doesn't mean inherently bad. Like, I don't think they are inherently wrong or gonna be awful. There could be a dictator that wants the best for the people, right? And fucking does his or her best. To install that, which I think Caesar's trying to do. The problem is, once you get it, power corrupts and just fucking people start dying in the streets. <laughs> you start moving political pieces to get more power. Such shit. Post comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Just like Steve Harvey Dude. Tell Adidas that we need a million in production I done told y'all all I needed was the infrastructure Dude. Now we hide us in the streets, it ain't no discussion James Harden, Swaggy P, 